I bring him here. We're looking for my father. Tom Hiddleston's Loki will reportedly appear in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, likely continuing his storyline from Loki Season 1. Tom Hiddleston's Loki will reportedly appear in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which makes a lot of sense, given how Loki Season 1 ends. The movie is shaping up to a major event for the overarching storyline of MCU Phase 4, as many of the franchise's movies and shows are now dealing directly with the ramifications of a full-blown multiverse. But why exactly would Loki be returning in Doctor Strange 2, and what could his role be? What? What are you talking about? Who are you? What's your name? Though Marvel's multiverse has been alluded to at various points throughout the franchise, it came into full focus over the course of Loki Season 1. In the season finale, it was revealed that the TVA and the Timekeepers were created by a variant of Kang the Conqueror, Jonathan Majors, in an attempt to keep the other versions of himself from destroying the entire multiverse through inter-reality warfare. But now I have no idea, no idea how the rest of this is going to go. Still driven by grief and rage, Sylvie, Sofia Di Martino, kills the Kang variant and restores the multiverse, reopening the possibility for mass chaos at the hands of the other, far more villainous Kang variants in the process. Given that Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness will, as the name implies, deal directly with the effects of the multiverse's restoration, it makes perfect sense for Hiddleston's Loki to return. He'll likely be searching for Sylvie while stuck in his new, altered timeline, in which a new Kang variant has taken control of the TVA. Loki appears to feel great remorse at the end of the show for his role in restoring the multiverse, so it's possible that he'll join forces with Strange, Benedict Cumberbatch, and Scarlet Witch, Elizabeth Olsen, in their journey through it. It's also possible that Hiddleston could be playing other Loki variants in Doctor Strange 2, rather than the main Loki seen through the MCU. It's also worth noting that Michael Waldron, the creator and head writer of Loki, also penned the script for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Because Waldron worked so closely on both projects, it's likely that they'll tie directly into one another. And since Loki is obviously the protagonist of Loki, it would be odd for him to be completely cut out of Doctor Strange 2, assuming that the film will at least partially serve as a part 2 to the story of Loki Season 1. That's it. That's it. Marvel has also announced that Loki will have a second season. If Loki does end up featuring prominently in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, the movie could wind up being a sort of middle act for the character's current story, an intermission of sorts between Loki Season 1 and Loki Season 2. Spider-Man No Way Home, which will release before Doctor Strange 2, will also reportedly feature the multiverse in a primary narrative role. With so much multiverse content on the way to the MCU, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness could have some big things in store. All right, bye-bye.